You know, over the course of time of doing content creation for so long, honestly, over the course of time, I kind of forget how wide and vast sometimes the audience that we usually get now kind of is. Because, you know, we got not just only United States people, we got UK people that watch, which, hello UK people, I've never seen you before. But when it comes down to it though, there is definitely lots of ways of how people express you know, their liking towards a favorite content creator or, you know, certain things that that person might do. And one of the things is definitely fan art. And not gonna lie, when I started doing this junk, I was like, yeah, I would like to see some fan art. Don't know if that would ever happen for me, but it's definitely something that would be kind of cool to see. And my gosh, some of the fan art y'all do definitely be on some either A, wilding stuff, or it's definitely going to be on some pretty prime time good work honestly which i have seen a lot but when i do get it it's like a very welcome thing and i just 100 am super appreciative because you know you didn't have to do it but you did it anyway and i appreciate that amount of effort honestly because some of the stuff i've seen is fan freaking fantastic the only sad part is unfortunately there is a lot of fan art that i've received and when it comes down to it, it's either too explicit for me to show on this entire platform. But then there's also some fan art that's out there that I really like. Unfortunately, I don't necessarily have like everybody like account to which fan art did which ones because I've been, you know, deleted when it comes to Twitter and its accounts multiple times thanks to certain groups of people. But it is what it is but still i have those pictures regardless you know one of the first fan arts i absolutely remember and have seen before is a picture of jay clapping the shit out of conico it <laughs> i can't show it i still have it i very much still have it but i literally can't show it. i guess i'll show it kind of here but still it's not really much i can definitely show but that's just kind of the first damn one so you know conico was already claimed many years ago but then one of the other really crazy fan arts i've seen what it's not really like my fan art but it's not really like directed towards me but i was you know put into it which was like a whole picture of alice i guess like you know running the ones with somebody else and my name was just there and i was like yo where's the sauce to this good shit right here which <laughs> <laughs> still wild that that happened but still funny nonetheless and this is when i was like dang fan art really do be kind of you know crazy or just when i'm involved into something or put into something it's just really fun to see honestly so i want to go over a bit of those today and also if you are someone that can draw or you just want to do some fan art in general the hashtag and i had a hashtag but i never really used it but a hashtag for you to you know kind of want to show off your work and whatever is x for art literally just capital x cap cap i say capital four capital x for and then capital a with art and then that's essentially the whole hashtag where you want to use this hashtag at for me to see probably going to be twitter mainly blue sky as well and then i'll also i'll also toss in barag as well you know mastodon you know the lollicon site where you want to just chuck some lollicon material perfectly fine i wouldn't mind seeing it so if you want to use x for arts in those places you know it that's probably the best chance for you know anybody to kind of show off their skill and for me to see if that's what you want to do now i'm not going to go into every single piece of fan art that i've done again super risque for a lot of it but still nonetheless there is a lot of it that i have received over 100 different variations and different things that i have received so it is pretty damn cool but still nonetheless very risque and mainly kokatsu fan art that i received now I'll keep it very much a sec. There isn't many people I shared my Kokatsu card with of Jay, obviously, because I don't want that out there like that. But when it comes down to it, though, there is definitely some fan art that I have definitely received from Ruby, 100%, because they're goaded, they're great. And if you haven't followed them, please do, because sauciness got me clapping the crap out of Naoto and Tenko, which, you know what? That's fine put Tenko in her damn place. I think we all wouldn't mind that. And then I think a really good one is this one here with like Mew and Kaede, which is amazing. This is like one of my favorite ones of, 
you know, Kakasa that's been done. So, you know, it's it's very good, honestly. It's very good and entertaining. And again, there's like a lot of Kakasu stuff that's on here that again, cannot show, but they're still very fun. And some of the other good ones, now some of here I have like commissioned myself, which is like this one of Jay by itself, which looks very good. I forgot the person that did this, which is unfortunate, but you also have like this one of Blue, which I had again commissioned somebody to do, forgotten who it was which is again, very unfortunate, but this looks amazing, dude. Stario had a really good one too. Like, look at Shoko in this style. Look at Shoko, looking mad good, shiny ass skin, looking mad good though. Also have, yes, received AI art of Jay in some very specific ways, you know, like the ones Alice has done, which still to this day, I'm not necessarily gonna hold you, actually is like a really fun one because it kind of gave me an idea as to what, type of way what i think jay could actually fit in some of these and i still feel like this is the one of all the ones that i've seen of ai arts when it comes down to you know any of this this is definitely one of those where it's like oh yeah this is some peak ass design right here this is a peak fit if i could fit this actually we would definitely fit this a bit more right this is just straight solid and there's also this which <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I guess, a voluptuous ass, you know, dark skinned woman. So I guess that's what this is. But you know what? Perfectly fine. All the same, I suppose. Then I got a few from the rats. You know, I got a few from the rat. You know, like Fu, which is very damn good. You also got, you know, this one of, you know, Jay. And I suppose, I, I forget, is it a stoffel? I want to say this is a stoffel. I'm not necessarily sure. Jay smoking the weed, which. Canonically, never would do, but you know, it's fan art, so it doesn't necessarily matter, I suppose. And when it comes down to it, it's just some fun times, you know. And there's again just so much to kind of look through, so much adult content to look through. But I'd argue that 50% is Kokatsu stuff, and the other stuff is like all other kinds of different ways of how it's done. Then there's like anti social boy with the whole ass, just there's so much there's so much sauce here there's so much sauce here when it comes down to a lot of this because you got the Conoco smashing one which I very much like got the Levine smashing one and she's pregnant which very much again like also got this one with Ruby it just it's just a good one honestly I just need Jay to clap a few more characters honestly which I guess I can you know say at the end of this but still nonetheless Jay need to clap way more characters and there is still very much a long list of people to go, but still nonetheless some good quality stuff. And of course, how can anybody forget the sauciest, one of the sauciest art trades I've ever received, which was from Junior, which is essentially just Konica with a fat ass and my name on it, which I know that might not be like, well, that, is that really fan art? It's just Konica with your name on it, on her ass cheeks. True, but at the very same time, those ass cheeks belong to me. The name is there clearly. So when it comes down to it, it's by far one of the most sauciest things I have ever seen. Not gonna lie. And that's how the universe should be. And then obviously one of the other people that has done some amazing fan art consistently and honestly have just shown time and time again that my girls are definitely worth it when it comes down to the OCs of my girls is Afisha. Because Afisha one shows you know the absolute primeness of some of these characters that they have drawn which is like Shion and Shion looking mad good like she gives me error vibes like I'm thinking that she about to get stabbed down by Sephiroth which please no then also this one of blue yes I still have this one and then this other new one of blue which is my damn wallpaper because holy shit look at this look at this i don't know if i should show this all but i'm going to it's a risk but f it i don't care look how fine blue looks you wish you can dive into blue's cheeks but it's the only cheeks i get to dive into so there you go with that shit and it's just again a fun ass time and there's so much different stuff that just on here that obviously i can see hell there's even this one which is just the profile picture of the channel. And this is just amazing. This is just hella good. I love this one, right? I wouldn't have made it a profile of the channel if I didn't. But still nonetheless, there is so much good fan art just already. And we haven't really 
dived hard and deep into the sauce of just growing this channel out and growing our audience out and it just kind of gave me surprised and amazed and honestly excited for the future of what potentially other new fan art could be out there honestly just waiting for it to happen you know hopefully we'll get to see a lot more and hopefully we get to see some really good sauce and stuff like that and especially of the girls mainly because I feel like they deserve some fan art from time to time as well you know so that's kind of my sense in place now I don't want to say I want to request some characters or ideas for certain characters but at the very same time I do have brain rot in a certain area so I feel like you know I could say a few names of certain characters I would like to see in the near future if it's possible but at the very same time again it's up to you so for me and this I'm just going to keep it to a very minimal about the characters because I know I'll go all day talking about certain ones but obviously for me I would definitely say we could use some Chi Chi content I could definitely see some May content from Avatar which is part of my brain rot for like a month now then also some Toph which I have some today brain rot of which is also there as well there is still Madaka who I haven't clapped which I feel like is a must because she is also waifu number one right with Kaneko as well so there is very much that Shiaki, Junko, and Kaede hasn't been clapped yet which how the hell has that not happened so gotta you know think about certain ideas about that shit and then essentially the last thing i could really say that will be like a major thing i guess would be like any of my own original characters like blue or shoko or you know symphony shion or anybody like that don't clapping those characters in those type of pictures in those type of ways that would definitely be you know something i would like to see if that all could you know be possible again it's not necessarily something i'm like oh it's a must it must happen i'm look i'm grateful for any fan art you just shut my way because i don't really get to see a lot of stuff that comes my way in terms of this and when i do see it it blows my mind every single time so when it comes down to me just take your own pace do what you want to do if that's what you want to do and just enjoy yourself when it comes down to it but just a few ideas to just chuck out there like, especially anything avatar related because ty lee I, I need to stop adding characters because i'm about to just go into a damn spiel of just how many characters can i can add until i get tired but anyway still nonetheless i do appreciate all the work none regardless and again if you want to do your own work and you want to you know show it off do the hashtag which is x4 art and yeah i'll see it i'll definitely check it out on twitter i'll definitely see it on blue sky and I'll definitely see it on Barag as well. So if you just want to go ahead and throw down some art yourself, please do. But that's essentially what I want to say for this one. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification on your out. Also follow me on socials and like to know things to the channel. GoFi and Cash App is available as well. And so this is Wojay signing off. Have a blessed day.